Pastor Julian here with Central's devotion for today. There is a great spirit of disunity in the United States right now, in communities everywhere, and it is bearing great weight on me and many others. This spirit of disunity is not the Holy Spirit. The spirit of disunity inspires anger, self-justification, violence, lawlessness, impatience with one another. It doesn't matter if this is something that comes from racial uh, reconciliation issues or if this is something that's coming from the COVID-19 regulations that are out there. Uh, people have different opinions in all uh, in in all different ways, um, and so we need unity. We need unity, and we need to get back to scripture and uh, what God has planned for His believers. Because I've I've had a I even had a Christian say to me, "Well, we're supposed to engage in war for justice." Violent, mean, anger, um, uh, lack of compassion uh, type of a war going on for uh, justice in our country. And I'm not seeing that in the New Testament. I'm not seeing that in, Jesus. I'm not seeing that in the epistles. Let me just read to you this. When we talk about we need the Holy Spirit not the spirit of disunity. This is Galatians chapter 5, verses 13 to 15. You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free. And now, just so you know, this is freedom from the, the Jewish law, the law of Moses, that, uh, that Christ has set you free from some of the burdens of that law that he has fulfilled. So let me start over again. You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge in the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly, humbly in love. For the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command, love your neighbor as yourself. If you bite and devour each other, watch out, or you will be destroyed by each other. How wonderful this passage is, and how timely it is, that we must serve one another in love. And that the entire law... Jewish law, law of Moses, fulfilled in keeping one command to love your neighbor as yourself. And that is a law that is, um, that when uh, acted out universally, will create a type of utopia, undoubtedly. If you bite and devour each other, watch out, you will be destroyed by each other. How sad it is that I see some of this going on right now. And I pray, I pray that you'll dig back in to what God has called you to as people who were created in his image to love one another as yourself and to serve one another humbly in love regardless of the agitation that you might feel, the injustice that you might feel, the pain that you might suffer, that you would in turn share the love of Christ with others. We have a, a long history of suffering and showing love for others in the midst of our suffering. And that is the way of God. God bless you. Love one another as you love yourselves.